right, so the last thing we need to do um, in our makeshift frames frames per second <laughs> first person shooter is implement zoom. So we're going to do a little uh, field of view trick here. So let's just map the input as an action mapping and we'll map it to um, our right mouse button and we'll call it zoom. So set those as the default. <coughs> Excuse me. And since we're going to be um, altering the structure of our player character class, uh, I'm going to close the editor since we're going to have to recompile our project, um, and then we'll recompile it uh, when we are done here. Uh, we're going to need an another couple of um, additions to our class. We already did zoom level, which is our current zoom level, and we did the const max zoom level, which is 3 which is including zero. So zero would be no zoom, one would be our first level of zoom, and two, since we're zero based, um, would be the maximum zoom. And then once it gets to three, um, if, as long as it's less than three, so if it becomes equal to or greater than three, we're gonna revert back to our original zoom. Uh, so we'll set a constant float here, and we'll call it const zoom amount. And this is going to be just how much um, we zoom in each time and then we want the actual function that we're going to be uh, running from so on zoom and we'll implement that and basically this is going to be a little trick for those who are new to C++ or um, uh, you know kind of dabbled in it uh, to anybody who's intermediate or more this might seem um, common knowledge but a little trick is we're going to do if plus plus zoom level, and this is different than zoom level plus plus, because in the post increment, which is what you're seeing right now, uh, it's going to return the current value of zoom level, and then it's going to increment it. So the next time we come through, zoom level will be uh, whatever the next um, zoom level plus one would be. Um, if we do it this way, which is the pre increment we are incrementing zoom level and then it's returning that value. So, um, we're gonna do if plus plus zoom level is less than const max zoom level, because this way we don't get, to, we don't have to increment it inside the uh, the uh, block of code. Since we're gonna zoom it each time this function runs, we want to increment that value anyway, no matter what. Uh, then if we're less than the max zoom level, what we want to do is we want to set the camera component, uh, its field of view, equal to the original, oops, the original camera frame, uh, field of view, minus one plus zoom level, so one plus whatever the current zoom level is, because if we, um, if we didn't do that when zoom level is zero, we're going to be, um, multiplying by zero, so nothing's going to happen. And then we're going to multiply that by const zoom amount. So when zoom level is zero, it's going to be actually one, and then one times our const zoom amount, which is 20, will be 20, and then two would be our next one, which would be 40, and so on. Um, if it's not, if it's equal to three or greater than three, or whatever our max zoom level is set to, um, we're going to set zoom level back to zero and we're going to set the camera components field of view back to the original camera oops into the original camera's f uh, field of view and we want to make sure that our field of view is set so we'll come up to our camera component and we'll do uh, original camera frame uh, field of view keep messing that up equals camera component field of view and then we will always have the original uh, camera field of view. So now I think that's everything. That's a really, really quick and easy implementation. So technically, when we run this, we should be able to zoom. All right, so we're back in our editor. And if we should just be able to hit play and I'll move back a bit. And for some reason, we're still still not zooming. This is funny. Oh! 
sometimes it really helps when you think. We need to bind our actions. Some of you might have already noticed and said, hey, derp, you didn't, uh, you didn't bind your, your action, which is great because at least someone is realizing there's a problem. <laughs> so we'll set that to on zoom. And we should just be able to compile this on the fly and um, be able to zoom. Alright, so we are recompiled, and now <laughs> I guarantee you there will be zoom. And there it is. Our zoom now works. So now we have everything we have sprinting, we have jumping, we have shooting, we have the destruction of that which we shoot at, and we have a zoom function. And if you wanted to, you could adjust this zoom so that you uh, overlay uh, something onto the HUD, like maybe a bigger crosshair or something, you know, like a sniper scope. Um, and now we have the, you have this entire thing, or you can remake this entire thing to mess around with this and uh, see where it takes you. Try, um, let's actually try setting the zoom amount. Let's, uh, no, the max zoom level. Let's say um, 6. Let's see, let's see what 6 does for us. So we'll compile that on the fly because we're not, again, we're not changing the structure of our class. We're just changing a value within it. So we'll wait for this to compile. And this might break depending on how, what the original uh, field of view is. We might go uh, a bit too far, but here's one, two, three, four. Yeah, there it is, five, six. Um, so one, two, three, four. 3 looks like the maximum we can go, and then yeah, it inverts. Um, but that's interesting. So we can go in to maybe 4 then, we can set it to 4. Um, but I'm not going to do that, I'm going to let you guys uh, do that. And that's it for this series of tutorials. Um, I'm going to sit around and think of something else cool to do um, via C++, maybe something gameplay, maybe something else, because uh, I'm also learning this as I go along as well and I just uh, I want to share this with people so um, leave some comments if you uh, if you have any concerns questions or support and um, yeah follow unreal devs on Twitter take it easy guys